Hey guys, it's Bellamy here from Midnight Suns and today I am here with a review for the new Chinese movie Article 20. So this movie comes to us from the critically acclaimed Chinese film director Zhang Yimo, who has directed some really big landmark Chinese films in the past, like 2002's Hero and House of Flying Daggers in 2004. But let me just say, if you are expecting this movie to be anything like those movies, then you are gonna be very surprised because this movie is nothing like those movies. And that's not to say that this movie is bad or worse than those movies necessarily, it's just very different from those movies. So this movie, Article 20, is a legal drama that has a narrative that revolves around criminal justice and the whole idea of justifiable self-defense. And it is half a romantic family comedy and also half a very dark law crime thriller. And the film tries to mesh both of those genres together so much that sometimes it does feel pretty weird to be honest. Like in one scene, you'll have something depressingly dark happening, something really dramatic going on like a character dying or something. And then seconds later, like in the very next scene, you'll have characters cracking jokes like they're in a rom-com movie. And I must say that sometimes felt when I was watching the movie, it felt like two separate movies that were squeezed together into one movie. And that is not to say that either half of the movie is bad. Like the dark half of the movie, the dramatic half of the movie is really good. And the funny, the comedy part of the movie is also really good. But when they are combined together, there is just this sense of dissonance, you know, like they don't really fit that well together. It almost feels like the movie's, the film's narrative was originally supposed to be really dark, but then they rewrote the script and included, like, they filled half of the script with this really light-hearted family comedy just so it would appeal to a wider market, like, that's what it feels like. But that being said, I did really like the comedy in this movie even if I felt it was kind of out of place at times. The comedy in this film is actually pretty unique and I would say that it is probably not for everybody. Like, there are many, many scenes in this film where characters will just literally stop whatever they are doing and have a conversation with one another, and it will be a very funny conversation with really hilarious dialogue, and they will just have these funny arguments back and forth for minutes on end, and this happens throughout the entire movie. But I do think the dialogue was written very well, especially in all these funny arguments that the characters always have, and so it is really entertaining, and I think it has this very peculiar kind of Chinese humour that those like me who grew up in Chinese families or grew up in countries with Chinese families, I think you will really be able to appreciate it a lot more. Now that being said, this movie is 2 hours and 21 minutes long and I'll be perfectly honest, after watching the movie, I will have to say that I feel it definitely did not have to be that long. And this really links back to my main issue with this movie in that it really tries its hardest to balance the dark and the light. And I feel that if the filmmakers had just decided like, okay, this is gonna be a really dark movie, a really dark legal drama with a bit of comedy in it, or the other way around, this is gonna be like a full-on comedy with a bit of dark drama in it, then the entire movie could have been cut down to one and a half hours. But because they wanted to balance the movie such that it's equally light and dark, especially the whole narrative, so there's over an hour of comedy and over an hour of dark drama, both in a single movie. And then the movie ends up being almost two and a half hours long, and you really do feel that length when you're watching it. Now that being said, it might sound like I don't like the movie, but that is not true at all. In fact, I really really like the entire movie. As much as I really think that the dark and light parts of the movie didn't really mesh well together, I think they are still really great individually. And overall, I thought the acting in the movie was great, the story was really interesting, and like I said earlier, I really really love the comedy in this movie. And so for my final score, I'm giving this movie a 7 out of 10. I think this movie really has a lot more good than bad in it, and the good parts of the movie are really good and really make the movie worth watching. I just do wish that they had decided to lean in more on either making this a comedy or making this a dark legal drama. Because as it is right now when it's equally both, yeah it just doesn't really work as well as I think it could have. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you guys think? If you've already seen this movie or you're planning to see it, 
please go down into the comments below and let me know what you guys think about this movie. I would love to have a conversation with you guys about this film and you know what, I'm always open to new thoughts and ideas and maybe you'll have some thoughts and ideas about this movie that will open my mind and really greatly increase my appreciation for the movie. So yeah, go down in the comments below and let me know and I look forward to talking to all of you. Anyway, that's all for this review guys. If you're interested in my movie reviews, do consider subscribing and I attend as many movie premieres as I can and review as many movies as I can. Anyway, as always, stay gold everybody and I will see you all around. Bye guys.